Should have like jeopardy it. Or, I like, <laughs> what I love the fact. Who wants to, to, be to be honest, I love the fact that Ramon is such a fan of Soul Calibur. Like yes. Soul Calibur streams, he knows all the memes, he knows yeah, all the like, stuff. Community as well. Like I, yeah. I, I couldn't imagine the Soul Calibur community without Ramon in it. He's such a pillar of the community. I've never seen him. I mean, he was relatively, uh, you know, cast out. Um, well, not cast out like we, we forced him, but like he he, he <laughs> put himself in exile. Yes, he put himself in exile uh, by you know the middle of SC5, much like virtually everybody else. But yeah. So right, as we six. said, Cassandra versus Zas. Um, we have a stage where um, Party Wolf won't necessarily have to deal with gigantic amounts of ringouts, uh, yes. but he does have a curse on him already. We'll see oh, wow. Yeah, gonna to call him out of that uh, little backspin with the 2-2-B. Pop in the curse, I mean, a lot of damage. Remember, that is one curse. One curse that's necessary for that kind of combo. For that yeah, kind of uh, damage. You know, at Arpia in the chat. Like, hey, Arpia, where are you? Your character uh, looking kind of yeah, good. Yeah, kind of nice. Kind of really nice to just be able to do that whenever you hit with, like, your fastest move. Yeah. Oh, and the unblockable cancel into the horizontal, catching a sidestep, trying to get away from it. Right, so now we got a reversal edge. I'm gonna see if okay. So party wolf is able to um okay. So maybe another uh, situation where we're dealing with ooh. I have never seen Zas's soul attack ever. Yeah, not everybody. Usually save it for Oh, he gets the RI. Impact. Oh my god, what a huge call up from Ron the try hard. I mean, he's trying hard to win this round. We're gonna he see is. if he's able to pull it out because he is next to the ledge. Oh, but no very very scary punish. stuff. Yeah, he didn't take his turn back with the block punish on that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, is, uh, it is negative enough. Even Zasimel can punish it. Yeah, and, and Party Wolf was down enough to where it's not necessarily the same thing as what we were talking about before with Party uh, with um, uh, Ender's J and Icy Chains, where he was trying to like sack it for something that was going to kill. Like Party Wolf had, you know, low enough life to where I think he should have tried to take his initiative. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but the back turn people take it. Get him Divine Force, immediately spending it, healing his guard, getting a decent situation here. Gonna get some Oki. No, there's no way that's gonna work. Okay. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> he pops the uh, the Reversal Edge cancel. That is a uh, really good tool that he has in Season 2. Yeah, especially with the fact that his Reversal Edge is so hard to pull off on its own. Uh, yeah. I do appreciate the fact that they gave it to him. And nice continuing to sidestep. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know and hasn't gotten massively frustrated by this, Zas's Reversal Edge is one of the few that has hitboxes right behind him. But they will not work if you just continue to sidestep the whole time. So he decided to let the entire reversal edge go and then try to whip punish. And I appreciate that. Yeah, good stuff from Party Wolf. Oh, the show you can. Well, oh, that seems like even Cassandra might struggle to punish that move because it has just so much pushback on block. Are we just wrong? Is it not punishable? Yeah, maybe. It could be like minus 12 or something. Yeah, am I like, stupid? Uh, maybe. I really it's thought that it was. Possible. I mean, I mean it's, not, just... it's not possible that it's stupid, it's a near certainty, but, you know, in this situation, ooh, okay. No, I, no, I was talking about if we're stupid, right? Oh, sorry, collectively. We, yeah, like, collectively, the both of us together, uh, yeah. 100%, right? Well, considering we're two people that are currently talking about a video game, playing the video game, like, that's pretty dumb. No, clearly we've made a lot of wrong decisions in life, and we'll continue to do so as the night progresses. Reversal Edge versus Reversal Edge gets the guard break <laughs> on the Reversal Edge and gets a CE for the game. Great stuff. Just holding it down, fully confident in that situation. Party Wolf making the most of it. All right, so I presume uh, Ron's gonna want a different stage. Yeah, that stage was pretty big. Uh, I think it gave Party Wolf, which oddly enough, gave Party Wolf like the opportunity to kind of avoid the ring edge, which plays, yeah. can play a really big factor in, uh, in uh, Zasimel's game plan. Yeah, I found that there were really only two situations where the ring edge slash wall became a pretty big factor. One of them was Ron getting the first round, and then the other time was when he didn't necessarily take his block punish and tried to go for something a little bit higher up in terms of risk and reward. So, you know, it didn't really, it wasn't really something that was coming up all that long. Oh, this is something different. Well, la di da. Should we have Boom on here, or is he too uh, <laughs> hydrated? I mean, yeah, I'm. Different. I mean, I can be on here if you want. Well, you know, it seems like you would have some experience with uh, understanding what this character does. I know I don't. I mean, <laughs> this character, <laughs> this matchup is actually very even. It's one of the most even matchups in the game. They both have I tens. Cast is better uh, frame advantage, but Yoshi has way more versatility in this matchup. Presumably, as far as uh, Ron is quite giddy about getting this uh, stage, right? 
Yeah, uh, no, no, well, you said. Oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Zubas. Uh, I was gonna say, you said all that stuff about like matchups and everything. How do you feel about the uh, the raw forgive me into the med K? Uh, that was godlike, actually. Um, <laughs> but this stage, it's some so so a lot of people are like, oh, Yoshi gets walls. But sometimes Yoshi doesn't want walls. In this matchup where uh, Cass has the better frame data, sometimes you want more space to keep out. You know what I mean? And while this this stage is, is good for when you do get your conversions, when you don't get your conversions, it kind of goes against you because you can't really run away and can't really make Cass chase you. It's, it's kind of what you really want. You know, you can't box with her because your frame advantage, your frame data is is negative on hit. Yeah, you're gonna, unfortunately, you're gonna have to try and explain Yoshi a little bit faster because unfortunately the Yoshi is losing too quickly to get the full amount of information that we were hoping you would be able to provide. Yeah, this is true. Uh, one of the things that Cass doesn't have is very good tech crouches. He's got Y-Rising B, but in reality, if you do like 3K and A-Slide B, uh, those are very good ways to kind of keep her out. And then when you're when it's your turn, you kind of want to use 6A plus B um, to go into med case stuff. But that was a very good duck on the A plus B. No Yoshi with you, everyone's A plus B. Oh, and yeah. he's dead here. This is Divine Force. Oh, yeah, that's Divine, Divine Force. Force. Yeah. yeah, he's done. Why does that make sense? Why Why does that CE do as much as, like, Amy Purple CE? It, it does more damage than Evil Keelix CE now. <laughs> oh, no, uh, she I'm needs coming. it. Buff cast. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be relatively alone in thinking that Cass might be top five in the entire game. She is definitely a uh, very. I think she's. I think she's okay. The issue with Cash is that uh, she really doesn't have any very good uh, horizontal mids to kind of stop you. She like her horizontal mids are very like slow and uh, very stubby, right? Uh, but yeah, Kant, but you, you gave an I ten AA to a character that's all about frame traps and solid movement. I don't know. I feel like that's a that's pretty fair. good tool to have. You know. That's fair. I mean, yeah. The issue, the big issue with the I ten AA is that it's plus, right? If it was neutral, it'd be kind of fine. But it's plus yeah. on hit. It's plus two, yeah. so you can't really do anything. You know. Maybe um, I'm a bit biased because when a character has an I-10, it radically changes the matchup for uh, for Amy, so that might okay, be the case. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. We don't need any more Amy downplay. We're not, we're not on the screen. No, exactly. Uh, we never see Amy on the screen. That's why oh, she needs okay. to be buffed. Oh, no. <laughs> She's, like, practically non-existent in uh, the tournament meta, and it would be really nice if White was actually, like, a usable thing. They went and, like, tried to develop. All right, so Parity Wolf wins that round. <laughs> 